Jalen uh, Ramsey is a name that popped up, and uh, according to some national reports, Brown's one of five teams at this point who are interested in him. Yeah, it's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting name. Obviously, a huge personality, but also a very good player. A guy the Browns actually could have drafted back in uh, 2016 when when they had that number two pick and, and traded back. Um, he, he's been very good throughout his career. Has also talked a lot throughout his career. Um, but well, that was part of the scouting report. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, it would be an interesting decision to bring him in. You know, you have Denzel Ward. You, you drafted Greedy Williams. You know, it, he would probably push Greedy Williams onto the bench uh, unless Greedy could play in the slot is there or something a, like that. Getting back to Ward, is there, a, is there a concern of too many injuries? I mean, he had the concussions last year, and he's, his name does seem to pop up quite a bit. I, I think my biggest concern is he's just not playing well right now. Yeah. And on Monday night even, you know, he played better. But he missed a lot of tackles, and this defense really puts an emphasis on tackling. Steve Wilkes was, is really putting an emphasis on tackling. And I can and see Greg Williams bunch. say, see, I told you. Yeah, and if you start missing tackles on Sunday, you know, against the Jets, you can miss some tackles, and maybe you give up a first down. You miss right. tackles against the Rams, they're going to run it out of the back of the end zone. All right, so would you go after him or, or not, Jalen Ramsey? I'd consider it. I, I mean, you're going all in, you know. And if you can go get a guy like Jalen Ramsey, and to me, it's sort of the Odell Beckham thing, right? You gave up a first-round pick for Odell Beckham. Are you going to draft a player better than Beckham? No. Probably not. No, that's, and if, that's the logic I would use. Yeah, and even if this Browns team doesn't, get to 10 wins or 11 wins or whatever it is, their draft pick is still not going to be, you know, barring absolute disaster, it's not going to be a top 10 pick. So I no, think you would unless, take Jalen Ramsey. Unless he's tr in trouble in the clubhouse. In the yeah, and, and that's what they'd have to determine. Can they bring in another big personality right. like that because they already have so many? And can is, the, is there leadership in that locker room to control him or is it just going to enable him and, and make it more of a yeah, I mean, Generally, you hear you can't have more than two troublemakers, right? Yeah, and, you know, the good news is these guys aren't really troublemakers necessarily, they're just talkers. Yeah. You know, you mentioned it off, off that lead. You know, Odell Beckham, you were told, um, isn't going to get in trouble with the law. He's not going to be an off-the-field problem. He's just going to draw a lot of attention to himself, and, and it's worth and it's followed, worth that trouble. And Jalen Ramsey's kind of the same yeah, way. He's followed through on the scouting report. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Whoever, whoever told well, you that. What were you uh, thinking when it. you saw the one-handed grab? It was, you know, in real time, I didn't even realize it was one-handed. I just thought it was a great throw and catch. And then right. I, I looked up in the press box and saw replays, and it was incredible. And it's yeah. exactly what and you he said. And I don't think he could have had it with both hands. No, I don't think he could have. And he makes it look so easy, and we saw it throughout camp. We see it in practice. He just snatches these balls out of the air with no trouble. Okay, speaking of guys who throw the ball, well, you're think, talking about guys who catch the ball. I'm going to talk about one who throws it. Uh Colin Kaepernick, hanging out there, supposedly in football shape. I don't know about that, but you know what the other problems. I'm not sure any owner wants to take that on and sell it to the fan base. But the guy can still play. I think he can. I, I think it's insane that he doesn't have a job yet. I mean, I understand if, if you bring him in, there's going to be a little bit of a, a media circus around that because mm -hmm. of, of the kneeling, and people are going to want to talk about that. But um, if, if you're bringing him in to be your starting quarterback, I, I think that blows over pretty quickly. You deal with it for a week, and now he's playing football, and it's all about football after Yeah, and that. if he plays well, you don't hear about it at all. Yeah. It's bring the guy in and see what he can do. If you're a team like the Jets... Yeah, why wouldn't you? You know, why not bring him in for a little bit until Sam Darnold comes back, right. or, or one of these other teams, you know, team like the Steelers? He'd be really interesting there with the way he, he plays and, and moves around in that offense. No question about that. Two one six.